She told me herself she doesn't want to have sex in public. I don't know what he's going to do. Hi there, welcome to my channel. So to be honest, I did not have any intentions to film before the eviction show. I just said I was going to give you a recap of Saturday, the bit of Sunday, which is obviously boring, and then the eviction itself. But then I party and everything that happened after, we just have to do a recap on Saturday. So Dora, Dora just has a problem with Kidwaya, to be honest. She just thinks Kidwaya is always, is kind of against Ozo. Basically, as a friend, she doesn't like the guy. Even after eating breakfast this morning, he did not clean up. It was not liquid that was cleaned up. Like she, she literally screamed at him that, why wouldn't you ever clean up? Chikiti was not just coming out down. He may not just speak, he said, I apologize, I apologize. And Do I have to go you every day? Don't I apologize. Stop. While Praise and Kaisha were cleaning the kitchen, Praise now said, hmm, Tolani slept in our room or based on she slept on Praise's bed. So apparently Tolani and Praise is like they're getting somewhere with the whole relationship, triangle, rectangle and everything with Nengi and Watoni. Tolani is in our room. Kaisha, Kaisha did not even answer him. She just kept sweeping what she was sweeping. Guys, Watoni and Eric seem to be getting it on. It seems like Eric likes girls who are not that tall and stuff. So him and Watoni have spent a lot of time hugging each other a lot. They haven't had like real conversations that we've listened to, but they've been chilling a lot together, even at the party, just dancing, hugging randomly on the corridor, just stand hug, you know. So definitely that is a ship that's about to sail. So we we'll watch out for them. Like for the past three days we've been talking about Lincoln and his heartbreak. Today Erica told Kid Wire about it, just telling just explaining basically that Lincoln is falling for her and then she's not seeing him that way. She has told him, but he's still hanging around. Kidwa was just asking and asking and listening. Obviously, you know Kidwa is very chilled. As a boy, she he kissed her. He didn't react crazy or anything. They had the Patricia task today. Patricia Dokodo NG is a cryptocurrency company in Lagos. So they do a lot of forex trading, this that, a lot of things. Shasha Risha did the task. It was really nice. And Big Brother gave everybody a Bitcoin wallet that had five hundred dollars in it. So it was so excited, was so happy. That's how Lico just jumped and gave. Um, Erica a peck or something. I don't know whether I want to kiss her or something that she turned. Mm. It was just actually just disgusting, you know. He's actually stressing a girl with his relationship, his love, his friendship, his whatever. And it was just so annoying when I saw him do that. But then again, everyone was so excited in the house and yeah, everyone just carried the good spirits on into the party. So at some point they did a blinking contest. Neo against Ozo, Neo against Nengi, Neo against so many people and Neo won the blinking contest. Well, the guy can open his eyes without blinking for almost three minutes. Yeah, and then Kid and Nengi, the, the main conversation I saw between them today was when he was advising her about selling. I think she put one of her footwear and then Kid was looking at him like, where is this leather from? Says Fox leather, blah, blah, blah. So what he just advised advice was that if she's producing these things again she should take pre-orders especially as she comes out as Nengi instead of keeping stock up because having stock is a liability so take pre-orders when people order tell them you'll get it like two or three weeks or whatever and they'll get it and she's just nodding and saying yes so that's basically it before the party so the, the items came clothing came and they were so excited 90s outfits everything was nice i think Erica's one didn't fit very well so at some point she had to just open her jacket and wear like a bra underneath and yeah so the party was vibe dj consequence was just the best dj ever party was amazing so prince was dancing dancing with tolani dancing with watoni but tolani was angry it was just in her face when she saw prince with Wat um, watoni prince danced with every girl to be very honest every boy danced with every girl like it was a very free-flowing party also and nengi they danced a lot but it was obvious nengi wanted to dance with other people but also would just be <laughs> kind of pulling her kisha and neo ah, for some reason Neo was just whispering to Kisha at some point. Obviously, he danced with his V and all that. Um, how, okay, praise obviously over dancing the whole place. And then at towards the end, did the consequence now called all their names? Ah, Nengi of Lagos, Eric of Lagos, Watoni of Lagos. He shall called everybody's name. He was so lit. Like the songs he was playing, he really went to the 80s, gave us Two Face, gave us One Day Cool, gave us The Prince, Prince from Maven. You know, it was just amazing. Like the music was dope. I watched everything all two hours of it. So why do I do know this thing? Erica was drinking. V was drinking. They were drinking anyhow without control. At some point, Erica would be giving Lake Combody, like, even, like, putting her face towards him. Obviously, the girl was so high, you know, so Lake was kind of stopping. That's the good thing about it. Lake was, like, kind of stopping it, but he was still, like, dancing with her. But it's clear the girl doesn't like it. It's clear she was doing this because she was high. Hmm. So she sure did. At some point, she took off her jacket. And the top 
she wasn't even a top a crop top it was actually her bra she was literally wearing her bra and trousers and dancing up and down the old place v was already zoned off at some point so neil was just dancing with kaisha and no and eric and watoni were really hugging and all that so you guys the party now ended we are going back to the house so that's what liko was saying erica is throwing off erica is not going to sleep in kids bed tonight that boy is going to sleep yeah ah, praise was like kid would not do that the kid i know liko said is a lie if it's not it's not you praise praise kid kid i know you would do it he would do it ah, that she I do, she can't be you can't she he can't let them take advantage of her this girl was throwing up in the bathroom kid was i think it was in the kitchen gc probably didn't even know what was happening v on her own was by the bed they were trying to get her bucket to throw up like the two girls were just really annoying because i don't understand apparently prince said erica was drinking everything that like, he even saw erica with his drink like erica this party started laughing he, 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 he. i gave him two girls that was there drinking so they were just over drinking like what have you guys achieved that you're thinking you should be celebrating that much while liquor was screaming and doing like a madman that prince just told him i'm warning you leave this girl alone like nothing is going to happen to her he said no he now is going to call tolani that tolani should come and drag erica i understand the good um, conscience and the good whatever but calm down bro um someone else said he should just go and talk to kid about it like how do you gonna be telling kid don't rip her like is he an animal that you be telling him don't take advantage of her that's very very disrespectful please just told him i told you what i told you and they walked out of the room and he's going to do shit with her so Nico was now there that's it they now brought erica Erica now came and said, I wish I did not like kid as she was obviously hi. I I wish I didn't like this boy. They should now lay down. Then Tolani they were just pampering her, pampering her. That's how kid now came. See the way they kissed. As in I was just like Nicole's heart to soon drop. Like he's so have heart attack. <laughs> Literally. I was just weak for Nicole. Nicole was just looking. So they just lay down later. She was she was she kept dragging kids. You know how you lie now, you're just dragging the guy's head. Clearly she likes the guy and she did not want him to give her anything. You know, Nicole was just sitting down like someone that they molested. Like even right now, he's just here. His head is just down. Anywho, that's about it. So Erica is just laughing up and down the whole place on the bed and then Prince now started having a conversation with Tricky T saying that I think Prince is now coming down and wants to be with Tolani but the fact that Tolani is angry when he's talking to Watoni or angry when he's talking to other people he doesn't find it okay so he was just telling um, Chikiti that you know he doesn't like this situation and everything so Tolani overheard him was like well, I, I guess I talk, talking about me and I like the way Prince are just straightforward with it he said yes I'm not really comfortable with this that 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 so she said let her go and wash her hand let her go and wait sleep as came back so they're now talking to her about the hotel and she just irritated that of course why won't, why won't I be irritated when you're talking to Watoni blah 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 so the thing is, it's not as tall as a confident girl, but the way the whole thing started, you know, her relationship with Prince started with a triangle. So it's not understandable that she would just say, okay, now you're taking me serious. Because then he wasn't telling them and playing with you people. He was talking to all of them as if he was serious about them. You know, so before Talani came, Prince had already even said, I wish I didn't do all these things. So I wish immediately Tala came, you would have said, that come, I know I started this thing with a triangle, but now my head is dead. Gets. So Talani was still pushing, pushing, we're just irritating the way she was still saying, eh, don't talk. She now said, so, Prince was like, so I won't be talking to Watoni at all. Like, she now said, that's how you guys were playing Ludo today. <laughs> Prince was like, first of all, where were you all day? Where were you all day that I sat down here for almost the whole day, I didn't see you. Like, I was literally alone and then there was someone to play Ludo with, I said playing with them. Talani was asking, I don't know, I don't know. The thing is, Talani is already a triangle, so she, she plays her to get on her own. Like, she's not trying to put her eggs in Prince's basket, Jige, but clearly Prince is, she has chosen her. And he was saying, he he was telling Jukiti he regrets, you know, playing all that nonsense triangle stuff. So Jukiti was just telling Talani to calm down, to try to stop, you know. So I think Talani was, it was entering her brain a bit, entering her brain a bit, and she was like, okay, okay, I will trust you until you give me a reason not to. Jukiti told Talani, if I was you, I wouldn't have a problem with Watodi. And actually, the person that I'll be looking at is Nengi, really. And to be honest, we all know Nengi is a powerful player in this game. Like, she's not even Watoni, even Apollo. Okay, so Talani now said, said that anyway, her and Watoni have kind of made up that Watoni came to her and said, um, if he's praised, that's going to cause trouble between us. I don't want that, that you can have him. So she said she was even irritated when she heard that, but thank God at least Prince has told her that you know it's you <laughs> i'm actually choosing and i'm sorry so she was like let us apologize to each other so she told prince and prince was like yeah i've already apologized to you but yeah i apologize again and then talani was like yeah cool i apologize as well and then i would trust you until you give me reason not to so guys let me just see what's happening right now um i, I saw liko's head just down i pity like at some point i was like god this boy should just have a attack i can't not let her do that come on praise praise you know, when kid, kid came and kissed him oh my god guys look at liko this is Likon right now. Just too sad. Like, I sincerely feel for Likon. He's like, uh, he was now saying she tried to kiss me. She tried to kiss me in the party. I was stopping her. 
the guy is just sprung and Erica does not care that way about him or for him she was just high everything that happens is that she was high guys um thank you so much for watching unfortunately i don't think i've been through too many clips because i should be sleeping now but these people's activities this night didn't let me sleep i was like i have to share it with you you thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed please do and um click the like button as well so it helps the video go around see you on the next episode guys bye bye they've been kissing all night bro bro I've kissed. I didn't. I